you've had to get out of that that line of thinking. I think even uh, you know Stanzi, you know, well Tate was before, he was the first one, you right. know, and, and when he showed up and said, ah, "Geez, I haven't taken a snap under center since seventh grade or something, whatever what, whatever it was," or I had never taken a, th a five step drop, you know, those kinds of things. Um, uh, could sneak up on you when you were recruiting a guy. You never thought about him initially, but then you started thinking more and more about that. But you know, when you look at the, you know, you, know, you look at the things you you want from a quarterback, from a you know, from a, a physical standpoint. You know, we're still talking about the same things. You want quick feet so they can get back and get set as quickly as they possibly can. That gives you time in the pocket, right? It gives you time, and you know. We're, you, know, you, you want to be able to have feet that are quick enough to come out and scramble and make a first down if you need to. You know, you, you, your feet have to be quick enough to move in the pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we'll, we'll throw some balls on the run, obviously, so you, you got to have that kind of, uh, uh, you know, feet that you can, you, you know, you can utilize. You can't just stand back there and be a big stick, you know, uh, you know, for, you know, for us. The, you know, the next thing you want the ball, you want the ball released as quickly as you can. You don't want wasted motion, um, really winding up for him in a big circle. Um, you know, some guys come to you like that. Nathan Chandler had a little, you know, he had a little bit of a wind up there, but all we try to do is to get him to hurry through it, you know, make it faster. Um, but, you, you know, you don't want balls coming down, coming back up, you know, those, you know, those kinds of things because, you know, the, it just takes longer and, and that, you know, that race we're talking about, okay, happens pretty fast. You know, we sometimes talk to the offensive line of, in the huddle, hey, we need, you know, you need three set, we need three seconds. You get a three second fight on your hand up front, on your hands up front, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so everybody's involved in everything that we're, we're doing. You know, the, you know, the quick release after that is arm strength, you know, so, um, you know, we, you know, we, uh, we're looking for enough arm strength to be able to make all the throws that we need to have made in our offense, you know, that when you recruit somebody. Uh, one of the signs, there's a, you know, one of the signs that a guy might not have enough arm strength is if he's throwing deep balls all the time and the receivers are continually slowing down to catch them, you know. Uh, or you can look at his feet. Sometimes he takes an extra, you know, instead of just pushing up into the pocket once and letting the ball fly, he might take an extra one. That causes the ball to be a little late and, you know, underthrown as well. You can, you can, now you have to decide, can you fix that type of thing? Or, uh, you know, or you just go on and recruit, some, you, know, you know, somebody else. Right. So those, right. those are kinds of things that you're, you're looking at. But, you know, the mental things even, even uh, yeah, more important, really, you know, and, and you, you, you obviously want a guy who's a, a, you know, a competitor who just loves to play football, you know, can't live without it. That's the number one quality you want because that's how, I mean, you know, I could, I could tell that with, uh, you know, with Spencer right away. And he, can, you know, he's another guy, can't get enough of it. You know, he, he'd, uh, he, you know if, you, if you let him, he'd show up, you know, he'd show up at your house, uh, you know, uh, on off days, you know, uh, asking you questions about things. So, you know, he loves to compete and loves being out there, uh, you know, just, you know, loves loves playing. He couldn't, I don't know, you know, I can't see him not being involved in the sport somehow, some way. That's that's how, uh, how much he loves it. You know, and then you're looking for decision makers, you know, so everybody's always like, well, you know, how do you, how do you know when you have, uh, a decision maker. What are the you know? How do you qualify a decision making quarterback? You know, uh, a good decision versus bad decisions. You know, you start with their uh, you know their their passer rating, so to speak, or their pass percentage. You know, uh, attempts versus completions. Um, you know, uh, you know where is it? Is it fifty percent? Is it below fifty percent? Is it sixty five? You know. You know, what, what 70, whatever it might be. Uh, what's his, what are his touchdown, uh, you know, touchdown interception ratios? You know, those are things that, you know, I, I've probably talked about this stuff before, you know, but those are all qualifying statistics that you can use to, you know, figure out whether a guy's a good decision maker or not, right? You know, and, and go from there. Some